Yes, everyone's uh, waiting to see what exactly will shape up. We're hoping for some mountain snow, but it's been pretty bleak in the uh, days of late. Temperatures on SchoolNet showing it temperatures mainly in the 40s. As we move from temperatures in the 40s to right now outside 50 degrees in Seattle, south southeast winds five miles an hour. Pretty comfortable tonight. Temperatures are going to go back to the low 40s, but we'll have a few upper 30s too around parts of the south sound. This is where we could have a little bit of fog develop in places, but I don't expect it to stick around for long because we're going to have just enough wind to keep the air mixed up, but it will be cool in the low 40s overnight and we're expecting a little bit of light rain that's passing by the coast right now to gradually increase a little bit more off and on through the course of the morning hours. So mainly we're looking at early afternoon to see the big increase of some rainfall on the coast. Inland, we're going to start our Friday dry, so cloudy skies to start Friday, but it's going to get a little cloudier and darker as you get into the afternoon as we have a front that's approaching the coast. It'll It'll take time to really garner its energy to push inland for all of us to get some rainfall, but that's going to be happening as we get into tomorrow night and early Saturday morning. The big storm that's creating this, you can see it spinning out here on the Pacific. This is water vapor satellite showing you where the most water vapor is in those shades of purple and hot pink. Unfortunately, this storm system is not going to bring us all this precipitation to the mountains. We're just going to get some rain out of it after this front just, just drops by. The low pressure storm system headed into Oregon primarily, but as it swings in, the bulk of the snow falling in the Sierras of California. So if you want some snow in the mountains, British Columbia or California seems to be the best bet here in the short term. Looking at the forecast as that storm moves on shore, it comes in Friday closer to 6.30 p.m. So that's when we'll really start to see that uh, soggy condition setting up. So we get a little brief dry stretch for most of us inland. In the mountains, it'll be late day rain and snow developing, and it would be rain at Snoqualmie as our snow level way up at 5,000 feet, past highs mid 30s. Our high temperatures tomorrow for the North Sound will stay in the upper 40s to around 50. Oak Harbor 53, expect the rain for you first. It's going to take a little while longer to get to Seattle and Bellevue. High 52 tomorrow, cloudy skies, rain in the evening commute. So we get a dry start tomorrow also around Tacoma and Gig Harbor, who should hit 52 for a high right around 50 on the coast. Expect somewhat of a wet day off and on throughout the course of the day on the coastline east of the Cascades. It'll be fog to start high temperatures only in the upper 30s for the central Columbia Basin. Seven day forecast keep showers and sun breaks around Saturday. It's looking like a soggy start and as we get into our Sunday, we'll still have a chance of a shower early. We'll dry out again. Temperatures staying right around the mid to upper 40s for highs. We could get some more sunshine on Monday and Tuesday. But then it looks like a little rain will come back and visit Wednesday, Thursday, and that's where we're hoping we'll get a little lower snow level.